All right, so here are my top favorites from Beauty Counter, things that I use pretty much every day. My number one favorite is the charcoal cleansing bar. So first I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you get it when it's whole because it looks a lot nicer when it's brand new, but it lasts a long time, you guys. This is what it looks like brand new. I have one in a box right here. And this one, I couldn't tell you how long I've been using it because it's been a long time. The way that I try and keep it a little more solid from getting yucky or whatever is I stand it up on this end in the shower so that less of the surface area is touching anything that could be wet. So there's that. That's my first favorite. I use it for my face. I use it on my shoulders and my body because I do sometimes get pimples on my shoulders. I think because I work out first thing in the morning and I don't always shower right away, but I work for myself and I work from home. So the only one suffering really is my husband. <laughs> he has to smell me. So anyway, you guys, that's the first one is a charcoal bar. My second favorite is the charcoal mask. You guys have heard me talk about this. I love it as a treatment mask. So using the whole, covering your whole face with it. And I'm gonna show you my favorite way to apply it. I actually really love the charcoal mask for spot treatment. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put other moisturizer or face oils on at night and then I put the spot treatment on so that I can go to bed with a spot treatment. What I love about charcoal is that it calms the inflammation. So if I've got some red spots, the next morning it's way calmer. So I absolutely love this stuff. What I do is, this one's pretty empty, but I will like hit it so that it goes all down into the top. I'll squirt about a nickel sized amount into a little pinch bowl and then I'll take this brush. It's a flat brush from Beauty Counter, but you can use any flat brush and then I'll brush it on my face and I find that that uses way less of the mask at a time and you get a very even thin coverage. So I absolutely, if you're gonna get that mask, it's not cheap, use a brush, use about a dime or a nickel size amount. You could start with a dime and see how far you get and then try about a nickel size. But if you were to do it without the brush, you're gonna use probably two to three times as much and it's gonna be really thick and you don't need that much. So here's the next thing that I love. This is the winter dream. My coloring is, you guys can see I have blue eyes and I have pink undertones to pretty fair skin. So I ordered the palette that's a little bit cooler, but truthfully, when I looked at the eyeshadow colors and the warm palette, I wear those a lot too. And so um, it's been kind of fun to wear this like light lilac color. I've been using this highlighter also on my lids too. And then there's a contour and a blush. And I have that all on over another mineral base that I've been using. I really like the palette because you guys know I travel a lot and I don't need to be carrying like six different containers with eyeshadow and blush and contour color and all this stuff so this is cool like it's just all compact it's very slim and i can put this in my suitcase and carry on whatever i really love this product it's called color pinch cream blusher so it's basically just a stick of color but you literally put like two or three little dabs on your cheeks and then you rub it in. You can actually use this as a lip color, and this is a really natural, pretty, like, pink color. I like it for that. I like this cream blusher a lot for, like, an everyday blusher because it has something about, you know, when you use a cream versus a powder, powders are great if you're gonna be on camera, which, as you guys have seen, like, I'm on camera a fair amount, but if you're in person, the way that cream colors go on, it just looks really natural. This one's a little bit more special and it's kind of nice for the holidays. It's called Glow Shimmer Oil. It's basically just a body oil and it has a little bit of shimmer. So this is really nice, like if you're going to a holiday party or you're going out to dinner or something like that. I really like this, I wore this on tour, I like that it's an oil. I kind of wore it instead of moisturizer on the book tour, and it has just like a nice light scent to it. I don't really know what it smells like. It doesn't smell flowery, I'll tell you that much, because I do not like flowery smells. A Couple of others, I just grabbed a couple. I have a lot of these lip shears right now. Right now I have a like a red lip pencil that I put on, and then I put this gold sheer stuff over it, because I think it's kind of cute. It kind of lightens up the color a little bit. 
but all different colors and these are super light not a ton of coverage i'm not an expert on this stuff i'm just sharing with you guys what i'm using based on what i know about this company about beauty counter avoiding things like heavy metals avoiding a lot of common ingredients and in cosmetics that are used in this country in the united states that are banned in other countries and you know our skin is our largest organ i do the best i can to use products that i think are high performance on my skin and especially for everyday products but for example what's on my brows right now is not from beauty counter what's on my brows is from anastasia and that is not something that i think has any non-toxic qualities to it but you guys pick your poison right listen your brows got to be on fleek and i have not tried those pencils yet from beauty counter but i'll try them i just haven't gotten there yet whatever this is doing it's just gonna do why are there spammers on my facebook go away people I'm a food blogger and author and food photographer. I have a million pinch bowls. Somebody's texting me. Didn't she see that I'm on a video? I'll catch you guys next time.